Hi, it's Jane here from craftwithjane.co.uk and today I'm bringing you a Christmas project. So this is the uh, cute little um, envelope box um, wrap, a uh, little wrap just here and then uh, you've got your little envelope box. Um, I can't actually get the ribbon off now because I've tied it quite tightly um, but you've got your little envelope box here which you can buy these boxes to make up um, and I've used the Leaves of Holly uh, stamp set and matching dies and I just think it's a really lovely cute little festive project um, so we're in September so I feel safe using the C word I feel safe using Christmas uh, so yeah that, that's what I've designed for us today um, I've used these gift boxes here which are called the envelope treat boxes and you get 20 in a pack and they're super cute so you've got the gift box here which I'll just get one out because we're going to make one up and it comes pre-cut, pre-scored and with your um, double-sided tape already attached. And then when you've made it up, you get one of these little tabs that you can put on, which are, I think they're meant to be, they're really thick actually. I think they're meant to look a little bit like a wax seal sort of impression. Uh, so you can pop that on the back there if you want to. Or you don't have to, you can actually, because in, in our case we folded it all up, it stays secure. And uh, because we're sticking ribbon and a wrap over it, I didn't, didn't use that, but you can. So I'm going to stamp the box. So on this one, I only stamped the top of the box and the back. Um, but on the one that I'm going to do for you today, I think I'm just going to stamp all over it. And I'm going to use the stamp set, as I mentioned, the Leaves of Holly, um, which is just here. And I'm going to take the smaller one just here, I think, to do. So I'll pop that there. And we'll do a little bit of stamping together today. So I'm just going to use one colour for this, just an evening evergreen, because I just want to give a little bit of a background. And I'm going to use some of my scratch paper just here. And I'll pop this on my stamp block and away we go. So I'll just do a nice big one, maybe going across here. There we go. Looks lovely. So you can colour these boxes, you can stamp them. You can do all sorts with them. So I might do this one coming off just here. Lovely. Um, I just think it looks really cute and effective. And put this one here. Uh, but like I said, you can colour these. It's great. Um, what's the word for it? I think that uh, the box itself really holds ink beautifully. So you can do your stamping and you can, there we go. So I think that's probably okay because it's really going to be quite hidden by the design of the paper. Um, but that's my evening evergreen there. I'll pop that away and I'll just take my scratch paper away. Okay, so I'll just press that down, see if any ink comes off. No, I think we're safe. So I'm now going to burnish and I'll use my bone folder to burnish in, make lovely uh, beautiful creases. It just, this is such a simple project to do and, and if you're not big on doing all of the 3D projects this is a real nice way of getting a really cute gift box and this gift box does hold a, a gift card so if you wanted to maybe put a gift card in for your uh, relative or friend um, and just a few sweets or something like that um, it does it does oops, does definitely this is an old gift card I've got and you can see that it fits in there beautifully um, so yeah you could put a gift card in there with um, some other bits and bobs as well okay so I'm gonna get my pick tool and I'm going to take off the back end just here so these are the double sided tape that's already included on your box how when you get them okay. and then I'm going to just meet them up like that in the corners press in firmly I'll do the same just here so I'm going to press in firmly and that one nicely done and then we've got this one just here last one in perfect so I'll use my bone folder but there's such great tape that it kind of sticks really well. And then you do this and these two slot together like that. And then this one's got a little cut just in it there. So you just need to make sure the point of your other side 
meets your little cut and if you want to you can just do it like that um, but obviously this is where that little tab comes in that I mentioned to you just there that you could then pop there just to seal it and hold it in place but it holds it in place very well on its own anyway okay so I'm next going to show you the bits that I've done so I've got this um lovely designer series paper here now this designer series paper is the bows of holly or bows is it yeah bows of holly because you deck the halls with bows don't you there we go and then you've got the back of that and the front there this is beautiful with these um fantastic very christmas themed you've got beautiful trees there that's lovely as well and i love the backing on here this is what i used on the original project so it sort of looks like a really um distressed kind of bark and it's just great papers i love 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 using stamping up papers um and their cardstock and their, their ribbons and embellishments everything is coordinated so well it's one of the reasons i love being a stamping up demonstrator um so yeah so that's a beautiful bows of holly um design series paper there for you so I have got a piece which measures eight inches by two inches and I am going to just simply wrap it around I'm not sure which side I want I may actually do the plane because I'm going to be putting some bits on it so yeah I think I'll do that so I'm just going to wrap that around there like this meet it up and uh, make sure it's all nice and straight and then I'm just literally going to do this where I pinch the corners um, so I'm not going to be scoring it so I'll pinch all of my corners and then when I take it off it kind of comes off like this and I've got somewhere that I can simply fold and burnish like that so I'll be doing that there you go fold and then just burnish and then you've got the two here to do that with so I'm going to fold burnish and then my last one fold and burnish by doing it that way without measuring it you're just allowing for um, some slight alterations in the way it's been um, put together and you can then choose to do it so it's free enough to move your slip your wrap on and off so what I would do here now is I'm going to put some tear and tape and I'm going to pop the tear and tape on the back side of one and on the front of the other actually I'm not going to use tear and tape I'm going to use my stamp on seal plus so I'm going to use that just on this side here. Oh, I think this is actually my stamp and seal, not my stamp and seal plus. Either will do. As I'm just see, as I'm using uh, DSP, not cardstock, then um, I'm happy to use my stamp and seal. Okay, so I've got the front of one and the back of the other, and I'm going to wrap this around. And I know I need to put this down first because it's got the glue facing up and I'm just simply going to do that with it there you go and that is my wrap which does come on and off so I'll take that off for a second I'm now going to use my ribbon so the ribbon that I'm using is part of a dual pack um, and this is the real red and garden green uh, dual pack of ribbon um, and it's lovely so I used the red on the previous one and I'm going to use the green on this one so I just wanted festive red and green colours. So I will tie this like this. I'm going to tie a little knot. So cute. There we go. Just off at the side. Just want to do a cute little bow. Do a loop. Hopefully I've got enough ribbon uh, to do this with. Uh, I don't want a massive bow. I just want a nice little cute one just at the side just like that kind of holds my box together but it's more really for decoration so happy with that so I'll get my paper snips out and I'm just gonna pretty up the edge there and I'll do one on the edge just here like that there we go so that is my bow I'm just gonna straighten it all up yeah it looks relatively straight doesn't it and then I'm gonna put my wrap back on top so starting to come together so next, I'm going to uh, show you the things that I've die cut out. So this is there. I am thinking of making up some thank you gifts to my customers with these uh, 
gift with these sort of packages where they can do like a make and take so it'll put all the bare ingredients that they need to make something like this project in and uh, then that can be part of their thank you gift um, I'd love to know from my customers what you know if that's something they'd be interested in um, please do comment um, below um, and if you are interested or, or reach out to me message me and I'll pop a trial one in your thank you pack and um, see how you get on with it and let me know then if that's something you would like in the future uh, for me to do because I know that there are some demonstrators out there that do like thank you gifts instead of sending you like uh, products I'll send you a couple of card packs for you to make up or gift boxes like this so I think I'll put a few of these aside um, and maybe send them out to some of my, my lovely loyal customers um, and see if that's something they want in the future okay so I'm gonna get my silicone mat out and I'm gonna pop a little bit of my glue on so just like that and then I'll get my tweezers out and I'm going to glue this to put stick on there. So I just need to gently pop some of this glue. Oh, I way over glued, I think, here, guys. Sorry. So just like this on the back. So I'll try and get some of that off the front. There we go. Oh, it's blodgy at the top here as well. How's that looking? Just do some here. Yeah, that's not looking too bad. Okay, so I'm going to try and line this up as best I can and we'll stick that down. There we go. And then you end up with this really cute little leaf. Um, so yeah, I'll just pop that there, pop that to one side and I'll repeat that with this one just here. I might need to add a little bit more glue at some point. Let's have a little look. I think we're doing all right actually at the minute. Yeah, it's pretty covered actually. I think we might be okay. So I'll pop this same same thing supply. I'm just going to pop it over the top just like that. Oops. Take my tweezers off and then make sure it all matches up nicely. And it creates a beautiful image. There we go, I'll pop that to one side there to dry and then I'm going to do it with my berries. I might think I might need a tiny bit more glue here, so I'm just going to pop a little bit more here. And I'll pick up my berry pieces and I'll just do a tiny bit of dabbling. Move that around. So, you know, you can cut things out using the um, sheets of uh, double-sided paper but I don't have them so I am just going to there you go I'm trying to glue that on the wrong side I was wondering why it wasn't fitting and there you go so there is my super cute little uh, berries so I'm going to pop those to one side to dry and then um, on my original box I've used this beautiful um, wooden element here so these are also in the July to December mini catalogue and these are called textured elements and they're these lovely wood chip um, little elements and they look like berries so you can um, decorate them you don't have to so I'm gonna see what it looks like undecorated um, so you could put that there like that uh, I think I probably prefer it decorated so I think I am going to get out some pens so I'm going to get out my stamp and write markers for this just because they're close at hand and I think I'm going to use um, my real red and I'll probably use my evening evergreen as well so I'm just going to get the brush end and I'm literally going to paint my berries with this pen this is going to be this is quite a quick project to do um, I just think they look really lovely uh, love these elements. Something fun to add a bit of texture and dimension to your project. There we go. So I've painted all of my berries just there. Oops. And then I'm going to use the brush end of my um, Evening Evergreen and I will just take that down. You can heat emboss these elements. They are so versatile. You can use all sorts of inks on them. Uh, it doesn't just have to be the markers you can use your blends you can use your ink um, they're just really really cute and I like the look of that lovely okay 
So that's on there and these are here and they're all drying quite nicely. So I'm going to use a little bit more of my glue and I'm going to pop some of these to build my image up. So I'll pop some glue on the back just here like this and I will pop this first one uh, coming off like that down and then I'll do the same with the second one just here. And I'll have that one coming slightly off there. Perfect. Great. And then I'm going to pop some glue dabs behind this one. Okay. So, and a little bit up here. Okay. I might take that off on my silicone mat a little bit because I think I've over blobbed that a bit. So it's just off camera a second. And I'll pop that like that. And I'm going to press it down. Okay, and then to hide up some of my glue, I'm going to put this on dimensionals. The beauty of this glue is, because you can see I've really over glued it just here. The beauty of this glue is it does dry clear, so it will look absolutely fine um, when it's dry. And I think I'm going to use my stamp of dimensionals for that one. So I've popped this just here, so I might have my big berries at the top and I'm going to pop one here and here just like that. I'll take the backings off and then I'll pop this up like that. There we go, sort of hides some of the tails and it hides the glue there as well. And then I'll keep these out because I'm going to use them on my sentiment. Okay, so I have used the um, Evening Evergreen to stamp my tag. I've used the Christmas Wishes this time and last time I used the Seasons Greetings. And these are some of the dies. So this is the what I've used to put the sentiment on. And these are the dies that I used for um, the leaves and the holly as well. So it's a great set. You've also got this beautiful label um, die as well, which um, is going to be fabulous for Christmas cards and things like that. So it's a really fabulous stamp set. So I'm going to pop some stamping dimensionals on the back of here. So I'm going to, you can see my bad stamping on the back just there. Uh, but that's the great um, beauty of this. You can re, you can always turn it over and start again usually. So I'll just pop that there and then I'm going to pop this just on the bottom of the box here. Now I might not need this middle one so I'll just bear with me. So I'm just going to pop that like that and I'm going to pop that there and then I'll pop this one just under there. There you go. Okay so last but not least I'm going to pop some gems on the corners just to make it look like two rivets either end and I'm going to use the classic red rhinestone basic jewels. So these have been in the catalogue for a while and every Christmas I go through an unbelievable amount of these. So I'll pop that one there and I'll pop one on the other side as well. Just here like that. Kind of Oops, that one needs to go in a little bit. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> I will pop that one just there. Okay. Here's today's finished project, and it, it is my Christmas themed um, envelope treat box. Um, I hope you've enjoyed today's project. Um, please do let me know in the comments if you have a particular favourite that you like. Um, I don't know, I think I probably would veer more towards the original. Um, but yeah, I, I think they're both they're both pretty, pretty cool. So um, if you would like to purchase any of the products that I've used, you don't already have a Stamping Up uh, demonstrator and you live in one of the countries of Europe that um, Stamping Up sells their products in, you can um, use, you can definitely purchase with me. I would love to be your demonstrator if you don't already have one. Um, so please do uh, follow the links below to my online shop and I've got some of the products linked in the description as well. So um, that should be there for you. Um, so yeah, please also uh, consider subscribing if you're enjoying my videos. I think I I'm uh, quite close to 600 when I'm making this um, video. I would love to go over that 600 subscriber mark. Um, I am making slow and steady progress, um, but it does definitely spur me on to make more videos if people do subscribe. So please do think about doing that and, and definitely like and comment as well. Okay, I'm going to say bye for now, guys, and happy crafting.